I'd like to say that my camera, which is one of those live cam things from <coughs> Micro Gingsoft, um, is wank, absolute wank. If the screen goes off like it's done, I don't know how long ago because I've been too busy doing this, it, um, it just stops recording because it's made by strokers. But anyway, we just about got this done. Um, we're just going to shut the speaker wires on. And although this isn't really colour coded, because it says BL for here, so I presume that's black, but then it's got negative 3 volt here. Um, but I actually wanted to use these for the speakers. I can't seem to turn the hills. Let's look on this side. Where the speaker's going to, so. Alright, oh, I see. Boo, 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 boo. What it means is you don't use the black for there, because that's the negative speaker. Stick the black in for your negative 3 volt, because that's a lot easier. Um, for the colour code then isn't it and if you soldered one in it's probably easier just to turn it around and pop the thing through your end like I just found out uh, yeah live cam by uh, by Microsoft but you can see that it doesn't actually focus on anything um, so it's not that great I've got another camera Camac Camac yeah Camac thing especially ultra high definition but I've not connected it up yet I shall give that a go next and see what that actual camera is like I bought it years ago just don't use it never really thought what to use them for to be fair oh well that's good the whole wire goes through the hole <laughs> okay so we got these two wires to put on. That shouldn't be too much of a struggle. Uh, and then I'm not going to bother connecting all the battery stuff in and putting it in the thing. I'm just going to power it up first and see if the darn thing works. Um, I don't know if it works. I shall stick it in a. Stick it in this box. Will that go in that solder? Yeah, grand. Beautiful. Now, I don't know if you can see in here how quickly I chuck this in and out of here. I've heard lots of people complaining about these particular things. The only thing I would complain damn it. The only thing I would complain about it is that uh, this un undoes itself, especially if you've got one of these. Uh, like I have one of these, uh, these like metal, um, it's one of these things, wire wall type stuff, because it is quite good at cleaning some of, some of the crap off that you get actually off the water, my water supply to this house I think is poison, because it's absolutely terrible, um, not only does it leave horrible marks around um, when I wipe it in here, around my thingy, it knackers the washing machine because washing machines live long, the Ricard roll. It knackers up my, uh, in actual fact, it knackers everything in the water. It's what's in it. You have to filter the stuff out of it. Now, I'm supposed to be able to ingest this stuff without filtering it. It's supposed to be safe. But if it kills a washing machine, ah, what's it doing to me? Anyway. So that's that. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pause this to save time just to um, connect up the power and come back to the speaker. If I can pause. Uh, actually, I'm just going to point out on the destruction so it's quite important to get this area in the right places. Uh, and here you have it, look. You can see here. Basically, what it gives you is it gives you the um, two parts of the aerial. And you've got the wire here and then a big gap and then the wire and then the, the first wire there and the smaller the smaller one and it's pretty quick that you don't get these two ones in the middle messed up because you just won't receive anything um, 
And so as you can see, look, the two, if I turn that right, the right way around, it will correspond with the paper. The two wide ones, I think you can see that, because of this stupid white blur and everything like that, and the camera's absolutely blank. Um, it's like, yeah, that's like that. I'm doing my best to show you, but you know, my tools aren't very good. First time I open it to that. I'm going to turn this up as well because the um, I think the actual music plays run out of battery. It says it lasts 10 hours, but I don't know. Anyway, so what have we got? A, B, C, and D. A, B, C, and D. And these correspond to that. So A and B are the two big ones. And then C and D. I like that. So that's how I'm going to solder it. I'm going to pop them in the heels, that's one, two, I'm just going to do the two at a time because it's going to make it easier for me to make sure I get these on the bits that um, have been scraped off, well not, yeah, scraped off, whatever, let's go down there so I can still see that they're in place, should be able to get decent connections onto that, there's the silver Oh, I turned the. Oh well, I turned down my um, my solder station to 150. I'm thinking for some reason, probably something to do with the drink. Then I got it all finished, but I haven't. So it's on. Uh, it's having to reheat back up. It says it's on 325 now. So ah, oh, I do like beer, but I need to stop, especially going running and trying to keep reasonably fit. You know, in case we get invaded or something, you never know these days. Ah, it's not hot enough. It lies to me. It reports on there that it's at the right temperature. It's alright now. But it wasn't when I first started then. And I reckon I might have to pull that down a little bit just to make sure it's nice. And that's the ticket. And then the same on this one. So I just bent them so to keep the wire stuff from falling out. I'm just going to pull it down a bit, a little tiny bit of pressure, just to make sure we get it. Uh, that's all your bugger. That's the ticket. Uh, yeah, and as I was saying, look how quick I just chucked that in. I've seen a lot of people on uh, doing a little review about it, saying that they don't like this. Now, they've obviously modified it, because ah, it's not perfect, but it does. If you chuck it in the right way, it goes all right. Anyway. I'm going to shut up because this isn't anything to do with soldering on. Even though now I've had it for a, a couple of months, I can actually give a little bit of feedback on it. Well, I'll do a whole vid for that, but if you're interested in this video, it's not bad. For the money, uh, less than 50 quid. Uh, 50 English pounds, you know. It's not too bad. It works. It does keep reasonable temperature. I haven't had to um, do any real work on cleaning my tips, or at least only use the one tip really. It's a little. I don't use the chisel ones like a lot of people do, and I certainly don't use any conicals. I've just used the. Uh, I don't know, it's sort of like cut off at an angle. That seems to be fine for me. Right, okay, that's it. So I can do the rest with, uh, and did you see the way I, I picked up all the, the little bits? I used the speaker, the magnet of the speaker to pick up all the little the little ends of where I've been cutting and just took them in my little, in my little uh, solder pot. Oh, I chuck all the bad soldering. So, if I chuck that just on here, if I put that just on here, I can actually feel the effects of the beer now, which is quite nice. I do like that. I've noticed the case to my um, capacitor has a crack in it. That's nice. Ah, I love quality from China. Such quality, such quality. This is, I mean, I've heard one of these and I know what they sound like. So there's no way I'm going to want this. Um, badgering my eardrums. I don't think that actually goes in there, does it? I don't actually think this is for the kit. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick this in here because this tends to fall off a bit and get a bit annoying it's good to have it on there I don't think that's the right 
right screw for it. Oh, I'm pretty confident that's not the right screw. Oh, so where's this come from? Ah, oh, darn it, that'll do. Does it shut it off? And does it put it on? It does. And there's a big gloppy bit of plastic sticking off the edge here. And I think I've just broken it now. No, it still switches on, switches off. I don't expect it to feel, you know. The whole thing costs three and a half quid. And to try and get one of these off, uh, not yeah, eBay, they're three and a half quid. You can get two for less than that off um, Amazon. Just to let you know, because I had a bunch come through. Because uh, I keep prattling around with these little radios. I like to show you a little radio actually, just while you're there. Uh, checking out the old oh, new bugger. Uh, one of them I just dropped. Oh, there it is. I've got two of them. Yeah. I don't know if you can see these, but these are two diodes and a resistor. Two different value resistors giving two different volumes. Uh, but they receive radio stations. Little crystal sets just like that. Uh, just got to put a little, little, either plug it into an amplifier or uh, put a crystal headset, you know, onto it so you can hear the the thing, wire coming off there, stick onto a coil that's better, it will be hand over it and you get the different stations. Or stick a tuning capacitor on there and you uh, can tune into the different stations. Mm. And they actually work, I did a, did a video on them. Just shut that out for now, I can't wait to get back up again. So here we go, let's, uh, let's power this baby up. <laughs> 